You know what? I'm feeling salty. I'm a little upset. I've been having some issues with the truck. So today, we're going to talk about why you should not buy a 2023 Colorado or GMC Canyon. Go on along for the ride, and I'll tell you my gripes with the truck so far. Well, I'm here sitting at a red light, and the check engine light literally just went off. It is Tuesday evening. I had the appointments at the car dealership to go and get the check engine light looked at for tomorrow morning, Wednesday, and the check engine light's gone. All right, moment of truth, YouTube. Ah, uh, check engine light's still on. Gonna head up to AutoZone today and uh, just have them scan it. I just wanna know what's going wrong with it. Stick around. So, here's the verdict. Got back from AutoZone and I went at 2.57 p.m. this afternoon. The check engine light was on. Now it is 7.45 p.m., finished up the work day, and out running some errands right now. The check engine light is gone. I don't get it. AutoZone didn't get it either. They could only support up to a 2022 Colorado in their system, so when they scanned for the codes, they had no clue. They didn't know. Ducks! So reason number one why you do not want to buy a new Colorado and specifically a new Colorado Trail Boss. The Trail Boss trim, you cannot get heated seats. It is not possible. You cannot put any packages on the Trail Boss to give you heated seats. If you live up north or have really harsh winters, that could be a deal breaker. Reason number two, cheap, cheap plastic interior. It's all over the place. It's on the doors. It's on the dash. And it's on the driver's side door. Next thing is the cheap steering wheel. It's a mixture of kind of plastic and foam. This section that's perforated is fine. It's a decent material, but the top and the bottom are just cheapo cheap. I mean, the cheapest steering wheel that you can get. Now another setback is going to be the halogen interior lights. No LEDs possible in the Trail Boss. I don't know if you can get LEDs in the inside on any other trim. I'm pretty sure they're all just going to be halogen. Now, talking about the back seat, let's take a look and see what we're work, working with. Here's another few areas that are cheaping out on the back seat. And sorry, I got a lot of stuff back here right now. Uh, I've been doing some projects and playing soccer and riding bikes a lot. But first and foremost, no seat pockets on the back of the seats, neither on the driver's seat or passenger seat. So if you're looking for some storage back here, you're out of luck, you can't get it. Now another area where we kind of fall short is gonna be the armrest or lack thereof. There's no armrest here in the middle. There's no drop down, it's just plain and bare. Again, dinging it for just lack of uh, storage and features that you know probably should be in a truck. Now going back up front, talking about a couple more things here it's just the overall fit and feel of the truck right the climate control button has a lot of play for your fan speed as well as your temperature i don't know if it's supposed to be like that but it, there's a lot of play in it if you're a connoisseur of the finer things probably going to want to be looking elsewhere maybe at a gmc canyon even just the elevation is actually a lot nicer than the trail boss but definitely a few finer things, I would say, that if they matter to you, steer clear. So reason number two, you wanna steer clear of a 2023 Colorado and specifically the Trail Boss trim. If you're old school, stay away. There's a lot of new tech in this truck. New infotainment screen, which mine is just not working right now. Um, you actually have to turn your headlights on through the infotainment using this button. Obviously, it's not working right now, but there is no physical button to turn your headlights on and off. All you get on the steering column is going to be windshield wipers um, and that, that turn signal, obviously, 
But that's it. Wiper speed, cleaner, certain signal. And that's all you get. So if you're older school and you like physical buttons for everything, stay away. Now, another reason you should stay away from the 2023 Colorado is the lack of space. Now, this is a mid-sized truck. Keep that in mind. And the back seat is decent legroom. It really is. It's a decent size and space for a mid-sized truck, but that still doesn't change the fact that it's a mid-sized truck. At the, end of de at the end of the day, if you've got a bigger family or an older family, older children, maybe three children or more, just, just stay away from the Colorado. Just get yourself a full-size truck or Tahoe, Suburban, some sort of SUV. Couldn't see this working out too, too well for a big family with three fully grown children, teenagers, on a long road trip. It would get pretty tight and cramped. You do have the bed, obviously, to throw all of your storage in. My bed's a little dirty right now. I've been doing a lot of projects. But cramming three, I'd say any kids older than 14, 15, cramming three of them back here for any longer than three or four hours on the road trip not be too pleasant so if you got a bigger family or an older family maybe just uh consider some full-size trucks or suvs or other offerings in the market all right guys so talking about bugginess of the first year of a brand new generation right now my dashboard is getting brighter and then going dimmer and then getting brighter and then going dimmer all by itself just went dim, just came back brighter. And also, I'm locked out of my infotainment completely right now. None of these buttons are working and the screen is super dim. I don't know what the issue is. I can't do anything right now. Volume controls won't even work. I'm um, just completely locked out. Now the steering wheel controls for the volume and for the next track on the back are still working, but it's just weird. This is the first time it's happened. It's really buggy and it's kind of annoying. Let's go ahead, turn the truck off, turn it back on, see if we can get everything to work properly. All right. And the infotainment is still dim. I'm going to assume that means it won't work. Yep, it's not working at all. Walls total control, completely locked out of the infotainment. First time this has happened, today as I'm recording this video. <laughs> now the last thing that I'd like to talk about, why you should not buy a brand new Colorado, is the price. My Colorado Trail Boss was 42.5k MSRP, a little over 45 out the door. That's absurd. Remember the older Colorados, you could get an LT four-wheel drive when they had the rebates for mid-30s. Is this a $10,000 better truck? No. But there's been inflation. There's been a shortage of parts. The world has kind of changed. Is the price increase justified? I'm not sure. That's for you to decide. Also, there's a lot of other options on the market out there. Obviously, Nissan did the new Frontier last year, and coming up next year, Tacoma's going to get a redesign, as well as the Ranger, I believe. But there's also the full-size trucks. If you're a GM fan, you can get a full-size four-wheel drive custom Silverado or LT Silverado for pretty much the same price. The customs run the low 40s. The LTs are mid to upper 40s with rebates right now. So, you're only paying a little bit more, but you're getting a full-size truck. It's going to hold its value better. It's going to be able to tow more. And you're going to have a lot more space in your back seat. Now, these are just things to consider. Obviously, overall, still, I'm loving my truck. You know, it has its quirks, but I'm confident the dealership will do me right. And GM will do me right. We'll get it fixed. It's all under warranty, right? And long-term... I think I'm really going to love this truck. This is just a little uh, little way to let out some of my current frustration with the truck. And just wanted to point these few things out if you're in the market for a new Colorado. 
But thanks for watching today. Stick around and subscribe. We're gonna be doing a giveaway at the 250 subscriber mark as well as the 500 subscriber mark. And we're almost to 250. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for sticking around. And I hope to catch you on the next one. Scooter out.